daughters are so special that when a male marries a female, he is reminded constantly that who you have married is the special child of someone, dear to someone. So we tell the husbands that when you look at your wife, don't just look at her as your wife. That's not the only title she has. She had a title before that, which was more dear and more valuable. What was it? She is the daughter of so and so. She also has her own family that loves her and respects her. So do not disrespect her. Do not abuse her. Like they say, don't make her cry. You know, when my wife cries, I always tell her I'm supposed to, I'm not supposed to allow you to cry. She says, I cry out of joy. Mashallah. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. So if you're crying out of joy and happiness, Alhamdulillah. But if you're crying out of, you know, sadness, you're stuck. There's no way forward. Wallahi, Allah has heard the cry of a wife and a daughter. If you take a look at Surah Al-Mujadala, named after a woman who came through in order to present her case to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where the husband became disinterested in her. Listen to this. I tell you, very interestingly, there was a woman known as Khawla binti Thalaba radiallahu anha. So what happened to her is she was married and mashallah, you know, a pretty beautiful woman next thing expecting she has a child. And when you have a child, what happens? Subhanallah, people forget that you've now born children. You've you've graduated into a new level of, you know, motherhood now and so on. You will not be the same girl you used to be 20 years back. Things have to change. Perhaps you may change in so many ways. You become wiser and perhaps you may even become a little bit heavier. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. She complained because her husband started losing interest or showed disinterest. He was not interested. And he started saying whenever she was trying to get him 